Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we had used aggregate pipeline of Mongoose to do mathematical calculation for our stats router. In this video, we're going to create one special router which is very important and you will find this router almost in every single application. That's called monthly plan. Okay, so in this video, we're going to build that router monthly plan and we're going to do all the calculation which goes into the application in the API. Okay, so here I have opened the project where we left in the last video. So let's start working. So let me give this command i'll call it calculating number of nft created in a month okay so this is a valid problem which you have to solve so if your project manager said that you have to build a functionality in the api which calculate that how many nfts are creating in a particular month or maybe if you have a course website where you can find you want to find out that how many people are enrolling in the course in a particular given month or in the year okay so that's the problem we want to try to solve here so we'll take this export and we have to call this get monthly plan and we're going to be async function request response and the same structure we have to follow so error message and now we have to build up the router so let's come here we'll call it get monthly plan and we have to build the router so we'll say let's say hmm, what we can call it we'll say monthly monthly plan okay very simple and here we have to pass the year so it could be anything it could be a month it could be a day it could be hour but i am taking a year okay and we're going to calculate the month as well okay not a big deal so let's take the url and in that we're going to call this get method and we're going to call the function we have created get monthly plan okay so that's our router is ready all we have to do in this that we have to pass the year and it will give us the data based on the logic we're going to build right now so that's the router part we have here now what we can do let's come back to the controller and here we're going to build that all logic here so here we can come and we're going to take the year variable which we'll get from the url okay params here and we have to convert into a number now we're going to take this plan okay and here we're going to use a weight and we're going to call this nft and we have to use that same aggregate pipeline and that's all stats we're going to define in this aggregate pipeline okay so we'll come here we're going to try to use this unwind and I will tell you what this is exactly. So if I come back here in my get all data and try to make a request. So this is what the data we got in get all NFTs. And this particular NFT has four different start date. You can see we have one four month, seven month and 10 month. So the unwind function we have used, what it does in the whatever property will define in that one wind it going to take that date and make it individual. Okay, so right now we have this three, you will find that it will become one and one so right now we have total nine document so it become close to let's say 27 document okay so let me show you how it will make sense okay so total nine document we have and we have this dates in each date we have this three date okay let me show you how it works so that's the one we're going to target here okay that's the thing you have to keep in mind let's come back to the code and here we have to assign the name so what is the name we have given this is the start date and we have three different dates so if I come this and simply pass that here, don't forget to add the dollar signs. And if you save, simply get the response and come here and we have to send the response back the plan. Okay. Now this will already working fine. Right now we are not doing anything with the date, the year. Just we are checking the plan that what we have, what data we are getting in this unwind. So now it's working fine. Now we can simply test this out. Okay. So first this will run. Let's come back to the router simply get this one and we can come here simply get this one and take an open a new tab and here we have to type it and save it and we can call it let's say something monthly plan okay and save it and simply we have to provide the year okay simply we have to provide this monthly and we have to simply provide a year okay right now whether you provide or not but we have to provide a year this will not do anything but we have to provide so let's say 2022 and hit the request and nothing here is what is the problem why it's 404 no content why so so we have some problem in the function let's come here and let's go to this function here and here we have this function okay we have to change the status code to zero so then we can able to get the data okay so change this to 200 and now it will work now let's make a request and boom here you can see you got the data and here is the interesting things happen right now you can see the start date so if i come here 
if I come here, you can see right now we have only one start date. So where it is, where it is? Here you can see we have one start date, and that's this one. Okay. So right now the data we have all together twenty seven, because each NFT has three date, and we have separate and make it one NFT one with the same date. Okay. So this is how we can able to calculate the month that in which month which NFT is created. So we're going to use this data to calculate that in which month how many NFT we have created, which are the NFT get created and we can do the calculation. So if we 21, nothing will happen. Okay, we get this exact same data, all 27 NFT, all 27 NFT. And now we can use this data to do certain calculation. So it will make sense right now. I believe that you guys are confused, but it will make sense because I was when I came across this. So well, come here but now we have to use this year variable okay so we can come here we're going to take this match and we have to match with the year okay so we have already discussed about this match in the previous video when we calculated the stats okay so nothing new here now we want to match on the base of the start date and here we have to construct the start date we have to define the start or end time so we want to start from the let's say it's a greater and equal to okay so we have to give this so it's only greater and equal to and here we have to give the start date so new date which gave us the date and here we're going to pass the year so the year we are getting from the user and here we're going to define the month so we want to start from the first month to the last month okay so this is the starting month we have one one and now we have to define the last month okay so that's the year we have here and we're going to pass the 12th month and we have to pass this 31 okay so that's the data we want to display so what data we want to display so nft can be created in any month so one nft created in 2019 one it's created 2020 but here what we are doing that if anybody puts the year like 2022 so we want to only fetch those nft which is created in 2022 not those nft which is created in 2021 or maybe 2023 okay so here we are doing the filter the nft on the base of the year okay so we'll get the entire nft which is created in this year you can take it as a month you can take it as a week okay so it's totally up to you simple logic we have built and we're going to send back the exact data okay that's the pretty good thing now we can test it out okay so right now you have to look at this so right now we are looking for 2021 so hit enter and you can see we have all these nft which is created in 2021 okay the start date is 2021 so if you stay you can see this is 2021 12 and the timestamp it's given if you check the other one this is also 2021 to, to 2021 and to in the month of 10 okay so it's looking fine let's change the month to 200 so right now we don't have any data related to 2020 okay you can see empty data we have here if we change this to 2022 we'll get all the data exact data we have here so you can see start data is 2022 12 so that's looking fine we can easily able to filter the data nft on the base of that and if i go to 19 whether they have the no still we don't have any data in 19 so it's looking fine the logic is also working fine so i believe that you guys will really appreciate this and 22 because this is all the data we have created in 2022 so that we have here if you do the changes in the dates you can easily able to do that okay so it's looking fine the logic we have built is also working fine so that's how we can solve the real world problem and your manager would be happy so that's what we have here and let me show you one more method okay so let's come here we have to make the group okay so this time we want to do this grouping on the base of the let's say month okay so i'll say that here we're going to take the start date so right now here we have the data about the month so in which month the nft were created okay so in the month of march we have three nft created in the month of what is this august we have created in month of march we have created nft in month of august feb and this february and august so you can see we have this monthly filtering option as well so it's looking fine in these month we have created all the data okay you can do a lot of things there is a lot of things in the mongoose documentation it's really huge so it's totally impossible to cover all those things right here in this project okay 
so i just want to do is i want to simply calculate the number of nfts in that particular month created okay so let me show you this is how you can do it. number of nft start and here we going to simply use this sum property and we'll say one initial value and we also want to have we want to simply push this to this here okay nft name okay so what we are doing we are calculating the number of number of nft created in that particular month and we are pushing the nft names in this nft so what are the nft we have created so let's simply send the request and here you can see we have the id which is 12 total number of nft created in the month of august a uh, december is one and the name of that nft the northern light you can see everything is working fine so 12 month we have one nft with this name and same goes for the three month we have two nft with this two name we have this in the month of september we have three nft and these are the days sorry august and this is the second month and all this thing you can able to find okay i hope you guys are really appreciating this that how amazing it is so let's do the let's let's check uh, one more function okay so what i can do is i'll have to add a field okay i want to add a month name okay M sorry month yeah month number okay so let's do that and it does exactly okay what it, what the name suggests so if you want to add any field so this is how you can do it let's give the name so we'll call it month and in that we're going to simply calculate the id because id contain the information about the month okay so that's the data we're going to pass here and if you come here that's what we had if you send the request here and here you can see so month two and we have the id also okay so this is the month okay in the month two we have this so this is how you can display more meaningful data and more readable data working fine so all the informations are displaying amazingly now what i can do i want to just hide this id okay i don't want to display that so let's take this projection so again this is a method available in mongoose which hide which allow you to hide any field which you have in the data okay so let me show you what i what it does so i'll say this projection and then that i'm going to call this method okay so what, what i have to call i have to hide this id and i can say zero okay so when i will say zero it will hide it okay if i make the request and here you can see we don't have that id here in the data okay it's hidden if you make it one it will hide other thing and it will display only id so here we can display only id but not the data but make it zero because we want the data we want to hide this id so that's looking fine okay i want you to keep all these concepts in mind all the functionality which we are using here okay because this is what we're going to use when we convert this api into different application a lot okay so hope so far things are making clear and make, making sense to all of you guys and let's check one more we have the short functionality you can easily able to short the data so we'll call number of and we can say minus so it will have from let's say right now we have this two so if you make the request it will start from three so it will start from highest to lowest okay so we have this three we have this two one and you can go all the way to down okay so you can call like multiple method okay so let me show you one more we can call this limit field also and i want to limit number of result okay so if you want to display only six result you can do the limit here as well so if you do the six we don't have much data so it will display all the data here but if i make it to 12 we don't have that much data so it will display all but if i make it three so it will display only three data but we have more than three so you can see we have very less data and it takes most of the meaningful data but i want to go with a higher number okay so let's keep it 12 but if i but in the real world application you should never do this okay you have to set always a limit and you can easily able to manipulate the limit on the base of the pagination okay which we already have okay so that's how you can use that limit as well so these are looking fine hope these things are making sense to all of you guys you are understanding that how we are using that aggregations and we're going to use this a lot okay so right now we are building this functionality we can easily able to use the same functionality to convert into any api okay so we are done with one more tool so we have the stat tools and that's looking awesome simply close all these open functions so it will look a little cleaner let's close this one and close this one and that's looking much better so we have all the routers ready uh, for the nfts not for the review and users we're going to work on that so it's looking fine 
now simply close this one and simply close this one and come here simply go to this nft models and here we're going to start working okay i'm going to show you a couple of cool methods here as well okay so that's what we're going to cover in the next video so let's move to that